what is going on guys so um, welcome back I'm Ryan for everyone who didn't know and I'm just going to talk to you a bit about wireworm um, and the problems we've had with it in the barley and the maize and over at some new ground we bought so I'm out here doing a bit of ploughing at the moment I'm in the maize stubble field and what we're aiming to do is we're aiming to sort of eradicate wireworm um, without the seed treatments as, as most of you will know uh, they are being banned um, as of I believe January 2019 so at the moment we are in 2018 um, and yeah so it's getting banned so we have got wheat fields um, we are able to still get the treatment for uh, the wheat because it is technically still in 2018 but the maize next year we're unable to get seed treatment so I'm just going to talk you through what we're aiming to do and whether it works or not, bring you along for the journey a little bit and show you what happens. Okay, so I'm out the back of the plough now, for the tractor's behind you. Um, I'm just going to show you the sort of thing that I'm, well, soil that I'm ploughing in. So taking a closer look, you can see there's a lot of roots, a lot of structure, um, still binding all of this together. So. Plowing it in is very difficult at the minute. Um, so the next couple of years, or this year, um, is going to be an interesting year because obviously last year what we did was we plowed the, uh, the turf in, so the turf is on the bottom, and now we're coming back and we're effectively plowing it right back to the top again. So that's why there's all of these roots and it's all matted together in the soil. And this is where all of the wireworm are lovely, you know, it's a real nice place for them to be. So our key aim for this is what we're doing this is actually maize ground for 2019 and we are going to be plowing it in and leaving this completely dead so this is just going to be an open furrow over the winter i know they don't really like you doing it because of soil erosion but the crop loss was uh, quite drastic um, during this this harvest so we've got sort of bite the bullet and just go for it we're going to completely leave it dead when, um, when the green little shoots start to come back up, we're gonna come back in with a cultivator, smash it apart again, and hopefully it will just mean that there'll be nothing for the wireworm to eat, and um, they will die naturally, uh, rather than with sprays of chemicals. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring you down and show you a little bit of how the plowing's going and um, what is going on. So here you can see um, we are ploughing at roughly five and a half, six inches into the soil. This will ensure we've got a, a good coverage and um, we'll have a lot of tilth on the top ready for making a nice seed bed. Okay, so I'm in the tractor right now at the moment, um, just running up the next uh, furrow. So as you can see behind me, uh, I've got the plough on the back. We're turning it in quite nicely, um, looking ahead, it's a fairly nice run. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, and I hope this works. Um, it may help you in the future, if you're struggling with wireworm, and um, you're ploughing up a permanent pasture, and you know it's going to be a struggle, it might be worth ploughing it in the, in the autumn, ready for maize in the spring. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, have a nice day, and we'll see you later.